Hello everybody, I'm Nick and in this video I'll show you how we can update the full resource in a collection using a RESTful API in .NET Core 2.2. So first things first, how do we update a resource in a RESTful API? So the two ways to update a resource, you either update the resource fully in a collection or you update it partially. If you want to fully update it, which is what we're going to do now, and then you want to use the put keyword, the put verb. And put fully updates the resource and it only leaves the ID the same. Patch, on the other hand, allows us to patch the resource. So just change a property or a couple of properties, but nothing more. So that's what we won't see today. We're going to see that in the future. Today we're going to see fully updating a resource with put. So first things first, I will need in my iPost service an update post method. So I need a, a bool update post and then I'm going to use the post so updated post or post to update that's a better name and we're going to implement that in our post service and all that's going to do is it's going to first see if that post exists so to see if it exists we're just going to get the post by ID and see if it's not null if it doesn't exist and then return false but if it does exist what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the index of this post in our list and I'm doing that just because I'm not using anti framework core for now eventually when we move it uh, to anti framework core we will show how it updates and all the types of things so now that we know the index we can do posts and then we're gonna use the index to write this document in the list, this post, and we're going to return true. So this method will now update the post in the list. And what we need is a new endpoint, which actually will look kind of like this one. Uh, we're going to have to change this and create a new endpoint, this one, the update one. So this is going to be called update. And this will be a put. And what we need is a GUID post ID, but we also need um, an update post request from the body. So from body, update post request contract, and that's the request. And what this will have is um, just the things that can change in our post. So in our case, it's just the name. So we have our name here and now we're going to use these two to create a new post, a domain object and this has the ID from the root and the name from the request body which is the new name we want. Uh, in the future we're going to see how we can replace this with Automapper in many other scenarios to just delete a lot of our code that we don't need. So here we're going to see if it was updated or not so we're going to use the post service and then we're going to pass this post to update in the service and if it was successfully updated then we return ok but if it wasn't the only reason in this case why it wasn't updated is because it's not found and we do want to return not found in this case we want to let the user know that this resource doesn't exist so let's see how this looks like if we run this. As you can see, our put uh, method is now created. And let me just get the first post here, use this ID. Uh, before I actually successfully update anything, I want to show you that if I change B with A at the end, obviously this doesn't exist. So we're going to get a 404 not found uh, error instead of a 200. But if I change it back to B, and then I change the name of the post to Nick's post, and then I execute that, sure enough, this was now updated, and we get a 200 uh, for the updated version. So if I get the posts again, you'll see that my first post is actually here and updated and all as well. That is all for today's video. Uh, leave a like if you like this video and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep coding.